<laughs> just kidding. Just, just kidding. kidding. No, just we're, kidding. We're, we're, All right. We're moving, forward. Oh, moving on. Act four. Everything that lives is designed to end. They are perpetually trapped in a never-ending spiral of life and death. Is this a curse or some kind of punishment? They often think about the God who blessed them with this cryptic puzzle and wonder if they'll ever have the chance to kill him. When I met him that time, it was during our mission to destroy the Goliath-class weapon. You're 2B, right? My name's 9S. I'm here to provide support. The number 9 Type S model is a high-end model, and it's because of that there's a constant danger of them coming into contact with confidential information. That's why I've been tasked with the duty of eliminating him. Over and over. But he was different this time. Scanners like me mostly work alone, scouting out enemy lines and all that. I don't usually get a partner. It's kind of fun. I simply ignored him when he'd speak. If I were to go... If I were to grow close to him, it'd only become more difficult to kill him. Even so, he wouldn't stop trying to make conversation with me. See, 2B, don't you think this white flower would look good on you? I have no need for it. Aw, are you sure? Attaching a plant to my hair would do nothing for my combat abilities. Rather, it would more likely cause maintenance failure. <laughs> Man, 2B, you're way too serious, you know that? I made a promise with 9S in the past. A promise that I'd continue to kill him without fail. The 9S from back then and the 9S before me are two different people. That fact makes my chest tighten. Pod 042 to Yorha Unit 2B. Report. Detecting errors occurring within Unit 2B's memory region, likely due to unstable psychological state. Proposal. Moderate, moderate rest should cause improvement. I've already been aware of that for a long time. But the day I'm freed from this pain will be the day I die. Report. Mail notification received from command. I wonder if I was afraid, or perhaps I was wrong. Even so, I continued on by his side, without even knowing the name of the emotion I'd been feeling. Tubi and I first met in one of the hallways in the bunker. I'd received an announcement from the commander that I'd be working with a partner this time. I was a little uneasy about it. Scanner models like me usually work alone, and I'd always gotten the impression that number two models were somewhat cold. So when she said those things to me in the hallway, I was kind of surprised. 9S? Yeah? Thank you. For uploading my data to the bunker. Um, I did that? Sorry, I don't remember. There wasn't a whole lot of bandwidth down there, you know? I probably only had enough time to back up your memories. Mine are only intact up to the point just before we rendezvoused. I see. Things started out so awkward. At least, until that day. It happened after a battle. Confirming the annihilation of all machine lifeforms in this area. Whew. So we've destroyed every machine lifeform here? Affirmative. No responses from any machine lifeforms in this area. Understood. Huh? Hey, 2B, did something happen to your right hand? My right hand? Oh, this. I must have injured my finger during the previous battle. G you're... you're bleeding! Pot, get me staunching gel and logic virus vaccines. Then, uh... Inadvisable. There's a high probability that excessive treatment will cause a decrease in movement efficiency to the unit. Just shut up and do it already! 9S, don't you think you're overreacting? Huh? Not you too, 2B! To just leave it. The nanomachines will heal it just fine on their own. Uh, I guess so. Confirmation of mission completion by enemy annihilation. Recommendation. Report results to command. Um, 2B? What is it? 
You think we could at least use the staunching gel? If contaminants... If contaminants enter the bloodstream, they'll be difficult to remove. And if it's just a staunching gel, then it shouldn't cause any problems to your motor functions, so, you know, just in case. All right. Got it. Then I'll go ahead and prepare it right away. Now, where's that case? 9S. Yeah, Tubi? Thank you. I can't remember anymore what my response was when she said that. Just that I was so happy to be useful to someone. What was more important to me was being together with 2B. At least, until the day that Yorha fell, along with the bunker. Large-scale attack ended in failure. The bunker has collapsed. Black box signal for U Yorha Unit 2B offline. Death confirmed. A large tower produced by machine life forms rose within the city limits. Having lost a place to return to, Unit 9S aimed for nothing more than the top of that tower, in order to destroy the machine life forms which caused this nightmare, and to end himself as well. <laughs> Apply the vaccine. The virus corrodes his body. His thought process breaks down. Sound recordings found in the flooded city play back in his mind. 9S, the time I was able to spend with you, it was like memories of pure light. Thank you, 9S. <laughs> Those memories are his greatest treasure. Living together. Fighting together. They were like... a family. To be. 9S holds that recording deep within his heart, treating it as if it were truly a treasure. To be. I... I'll be with you before long. Reality and fiction blend together. With clouded consciousness, Unit 9S carries himself forward, his legs heavy. He'll defeat as many enemies as possible, even if he is alone. As if in response to that wish, a new enemy appears. <sighs> many enemies appear in front of him. They're androids. They're Yorha units. Two B models? The person he treasures above all else. Someone who resides in a location out of his reach. <laughs> I'm glad I got to see you here. I truly am. I'll tear you apart! Every last one of you! 9S draws his sword. Is this an act of a murderous intent? Or perhaps done out of love? It's no longer possible to tell. Contamination from the logic virus is getting worse. Nearly 80% of his memory is contaminated, and his thought circuits are severely damaged. Damn it! I can't remove the vaccine! It'll no longer... Unit 9S knows that there's only one solution left that could dispel the contamination. To lock his personal data and reformat his entire system. To throw away all of his current memories and be reborn anew. No. I can't do that. No matter how contaminated I become. I can't lose this memory. <laughs> If that's my only choice, then I'm better off dead! 9S is fighting with fear itself. To have one's personal data contaminated means to lose one's ability to think for themselves. To androids, that is a fate worse than death. I am who I am because of 2B. I have a reason to live 
because of those memories. So please, don't take them from me. To him, calling her family feels too unreasonable. But calling her a lover feels too distant. Machines. A2. It doesn't matter. I'll kill every last one of you! To be... I... Within the corners of his eroding consciousness, 9S continues to protect his memories of 2B, even if his actions are completely meaningless in the eyes of the world. I am number two, type E. I was created to execute my fellow Yorha soldiers. I'd already... I'd already realized that. The mission I had been assigned over and over again was to kill you, 9S. <laughs> Stop it! Enough already! To be... Even if you were trying to kill me, I... Being with you... It truly... It felt like I'd found a family. Hey, 9S. I wonder... Were the choices we made wrong? Within a pure white tower, a small boy walks, suffering, uneasy, holding within him many small, important memories, thereof the time the two of them spent together. His memories of those days were most precious to him. End Act 4. <laughs>